and welcome back. I found some of the most amazing pictures of the Beirut bomb, including CCTV footage from their local hospital. Wasn't that chilling? And that's exactly the type of research and information which I need to share with you to make films like this. And without a VPN software on my computer, I can't just go to the Lebanon and watch CCTV footage from their hospital. But with NordVPN, it unlocks the world for you and protects your sources and data. Sign up today for your own VPN, protect yourself and surf the whole world without restrictions. I highly recommend it. And as a special offer from me to you, you can now get 70% off NordVPN. And this offer doesn't last very long, so sign up today and I can also guarantee 30 days of free trial. If you don't like it, you can get your money back. You will love it. Sign up today for NordVPN using the code Professor Simon. Now, first of all, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Beirut. Beirut is a beautiful place. It was regarded as the Paris of the Middle East, a Mediterranean city great people, great cuisine. It's not just a city of terror that's reported on the television. It's a beautiful capital city of the country of the Lebanon. And what happened in this bomb, devastating. And with any bombs, the initial blast is bad, but the immediate aftermath is what really injures people and that's what happened here so when the big blast happened it sent a shock wave now let's understand what a shock wave is it's a pressure wave where you have a wall of high pressure air moving out at very fast speeds and anything it hits makes a bang in your ears, it shatters your glass windows, it pushes open doors, and if, you know, obviously big enough, it'll push down buildings. And in a modern city, what happens after the pressure wave is really the worst, because thousands of glass windows break. Imagine in a city high up, giant, plate glass windows smashing and then falling with deadly shards to the street. And that's what really injured those poor people in Lebanon on the 4th of August. And I'll leave you today with this footage. Just watch it and sympathize with the people of the Lebanon. The truth is out there. 